The messy twins are bad. Not the messy twins. <laughs> I don't claim that. I am a. Chocolate. I'm an unhappy. I'm a little toxic. I'm a, he's an Akhel, but his uh, halo is holding up the, hor the horns. It's holding up his halo. Period. I am an is that a piece of bacon on your floor? Other side. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't like look okay. like anything on the cam, but it just looks like slightly red tinted. So I was see, like, like y'all couldn't see it. Y'all couldn't see it because <laughs> it's out of frame. But we're on FaceTime, so he can see it because you can see the whole like my whole room. <laughs> y'all, I have bacon. I dropped it on the way in. I think <laughs> bacon or bacon. Welcome back to The Basic Chats. Today, we're doing something a little different because we figured we want to involve y'all a little bit more in our videos and our podcast. And y'all are hilarious. Y'all are hilarious. So. Y'all are funny. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> like comedians, all of you. So like, we <laughs> posted a I love my basic base. <laughs> <laughs> we posted a tweet um, mm. yesterday, actually, which is crazy because... Uh, no, the day before yesterday, because yeah, usually we don't get that much interaction because we're still growing no. on Twitter. But yeah, this tweet y'all had to get y'all two cents, <laughs> and so that's why we kind of started, you know, playing with the idea of we're just gonna tweet something out and ask y'all yeah. questions every week, and then we're just gonna read off tweets. Um, because <laughs> y'all are funny. <laughs> Y'all funny. I we appreciate y'all interacting and giving y'all the opinions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so some of these responses, it's like golly. Like they felt it in their soul. But Ooh, I anyways. felt it in my soul. Yeah. <laughs> I felt it. My ancestors felt it. Yeah, yeah. Hello. But we tweeted out, what are some BL series you wouldn't recommend viewers to watch? Yes. <laughs> So we're just gonna go through like a couple of tweets and stuff, and we're gonna talk about each, per, like each series y'all mentioned, and we're gonna give our yeah. two cents on it, whether we agree yeah. or not, and we're just gonna have a good time. So, um, <laughs> let's get let's into get it. it. <laughs> All right, you wanna go first? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this one, honestly, I can a hundred percent agree. So mm -hmm. one BL series that was. Would never be recommended. Tone Hone Chola T. <laughs> you snapped, okay? <laughs> this tweet, you snapped. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because Tone Hone Chola T made no freaking sense. You liked him the entire freaking time. The whole time. And you gaslighted my boy for like half the season. <laughs> Your your family, his parents were messy to gaslighted that whole situation up until it was like, oh, okay. And then you get to the end, come to find out the whole time you had a crush. So look, I, look, I have a hard time dealing yeah. with Tone Hon Cholati because uh Pod the Daddy. Yeah, Pod is if you didn't know. Pod is my all-time favorite, like, Ty B. Like, not just Ty B. Oh, I watch everything that he's in. It don't matter. He's but your favorite. <laughs> he's my favorite. And I was yeah. so mad when he got this character. So I was like, Pod can do so much more. He can do so much more. <laughs> but uh, even though I have to separate the artist and the actor, or not the artist and actor, the uh, artist and the character, you hit the nail on the head because Tony Homechillity was trash. I'm sorry. It was. It was just like, and I literally watched every episode. I watched because I was like trying to figure out what is the beef, what is the hate, like <laughs> what is T? And come to find out it was all fake. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, okay. Pod and Cal tell me their redo. Yes, they still haven't gotten their I like redo. Them together. I love yeah. them together, but 
the, the, the story was, was just not, oh my god and oh my i just god. remember how <laughs> ready i was for tone horn on the tv before we found out like what the actual plot was i was just like <sighs> yes pa got his very first like not very first because to be honest if we're being completely honest he was a main in kiss me again and dark blue kiss mm-hmm. but yeah he was I was like, Pa gets his own his own series. Nobody is overshadowing them. And it was Tone Hone Shon Lati. How dare y'all? How dare y'all GMMTV? J J M M T B. But yeah, I was well, and I think for me, it's the internalized homophobia because okay i get it i get it some people have internalized homophobia but the way he projected that out i was like oh my god he was just gaslighting the but whole chill time out, chill out you can be questioning yourself and not be a bully yeah like it's, it's okay and bullying your crush is weird because to be honest to be honest <laughs> to be completely honest i'm yeah. looking sideways at the people who purposely try to bully a specific group of people or try to stay away from yeah. a specific group of people because i'm like because why why like what what's what they do what they do to you <laughs> or what are what they you do? doing behind closed doors because we i mean you was watching so because it's giving projection you was watching sodas in your room sure was watching sodas but you had issues i just I love sodas. I love sodas. I I'm gonna say not to, not to. I love sodas, but I, I understand that it is kind of it, it's it's not toxic. great. It's toxic. It's not great. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not great. Y'all, I'm sorry. I loved all those little trash. Yeah, BL series that we got in the beginning. I can't even lie. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm a little toxic. I, I understand that about myself. I don't know if it was in this thread or not, but someone was set listed like a lot of the old GMM TV shows. And, yeah. and they said, Oh, these are bad. We love them, but they're more so we love them because we can learn from them rather than like we love them because they were actually good. And I'm like, Yeah. You're right. It, cause it wasn't because they were good. It was just moments in there that was like <laughs> Plus that's all we had back in the day, so yeah, so like, give us some grace. <laughs> <laughs> so, this this comes oh, set together, right? And yeah, okay. This is how I feel about together. I yeah. enjoy it together. I know mm-hmm. everybody is just so <laughs> like strung up on the high five of whatever year together came out, but. <laughs> I enjoyed the series. I will yeah. say when and Bright have an interesting like chemistry about them. Don't know if I can call it chemistry? Question mark. But I honestly liked it. I like I liked, I liked it. I liked their chemistry. I will say I liked the second season more. Yeah. Than together. The second season and then because the third was a lot better. Yeah, because in Together, it was just like, <laughs> Wynn's character, like, I was just like, boy, you hyperventilating over this boy. He was emotional. <laughs> he said, oh my God. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, I mean, I get it. Like, you you was already a little insecure when, when Shorty came around. We get it. That was a little, that was love. He said, like, oh my God. That, I was like, a week ago, you hated him. <laughs> Oh, we and now go. we here, we we hyperventilating. Okay, I was like, what's tea? Because I remember uh, seeing that clip on, because I watched one episode. I reacted to one episode with mm-hmm. Alex, and then I didn't watch it after that. And then I saw No Shade. Because I, I did end up watching the whole series like later on by mm-hmm. myself. But And I remember seeing the clip of him crying, and I was like, what is tea? Like what? What is tea? And I went and watched the episode, and I was like, "Oh, poopy, poopy." <laughs> His feelings hurt. hurt. He felt <laughs> so hurt. He was oh god, but I can't say that that's not a realistic reaction or not no, because nah. because granted, I wouldn't react that way. 
<laughs> I haven't reacted that way in the past of no. like finding out like <laughs> but also I don't jump to conclusions. I think yeah. that's one thing that I do pride myself yeah. in that is that I never really jump to conclusions about someone nah. or something. I'm always like mm. Let What's me observe tea? you for a little bit longer. <laughs> Probably yeah. because I don't trust people as it is. So I'm like, but I guess not trusting people is a conclusion. Anyways, but I don't outwardly like, you know, I just be like, mm, I, I don't know about like, you. I don't know about you. I so. just felt like it was a it was a dramatic it was, for what happened. For what happened prior. <laughs> it, it, they weren't really doing nothing. I don't think they didn't kiss, did they? No, they didn't kiss. No, they had they didn't kiss. I think from his perspective though, I think it looked like they were about to or something like that, but it yeah, they, was no, because it was a full on freaking hug. He just oh, looked. Okay. Mm. He saw he saw the little flash drive. He saw the flash drive, <laughs> and know. he said he skyrocketed <laughs> himself into the Lulu. <laughs> That's what happened. He said, "I'm going to my trip and my favorite rocket ship through the sky, the <laughs> But yeah, together I enjoyed it together for what it was. Yeah. I will say it wasn't the best story. It did open a lot of doors for a lot of people to uh, create BLs. That's another topic, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's another topic, because there was a lot of stuff that was created in that year that did not need to be created. Child. <laughs> but, yeah. But anyways, on to the next one. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> it's a Girl, just, go, just go down the line. It's a top up over here. Well, okay. This this person, if I'm going straight down the line, you a little man thing. <laughs> uh oh. Cause they they tweeted, quote tweeted, and said, "Oh, should I read this?" Yes. <laughs> they quote tweeted and said anything with mew in it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, and this. they said, well, be specific. They said starting with what the duck now. <laughs> no, okay. You, I don't think it's. I think you're just a mu hater. <laughs> I mean, and that's 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 no. that's uh, for you. That's fine. That's fine for you. But yeah. you can say that. I feel like you just use this tweet to just voice what you really feel, but like make it sound yeah. like it's not what you really feel. You, just, you probably because just don't like Mew or his acting. Facts, because make it about the show. Because like, what the duck? You got you got it. You got it. But you got what it. the duck? Because what the duck was a horrible storyline. Mm-hmm. However, Mew served down as pre. <laughs> yeah. I will give him that. Like Facts. acting wise, because that was their that was his first BL. Yeah, like. And he served down. Yeah. Storyline's trash though. Say <laughs> is that you cannot can act. act. Okay. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Just just like let, it's 2024. We're saying what we mean. You just don't like Mew. It's okay. You <laughs> it's just don't fine. like Mew. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Cool. If that's what you wanted to say, but you should have seen it, Misty. But we're not putting people's okay. names on here, so y'all can research for your own. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. Figure it out on your own. <laughs> Figure it out on your own. But, but, uh, <laughs> we're not, we're, we're, but that's crazy. That's not okay. Mew. Why not? Not that's Mew. Crazy. Not Mew Super C. C E R. Look, shit. Stand on Bending on me. You tweeted it. Stand on me. Stand on Bending. Stand on me. That's how you really Stand feel. Stand on <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so speaking of you, segue. This person said, "Tarn type," which you know what? I will. Agree. Tarn type was toxic. Tarn, Tarn type, type was, was very like, toxic. Was, and, it okay. was. Let me say this though. <laughs> Let me say this though. Tarn type could have been something like better if yeah. they would not miss. Um, edamame. If they... <laughs> <I didn't really... laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> if, it clicks. <laughs> if they didn't romanticize things and it, okay, the culture, <laughs> what? the culture around time type, right? 
was mm-hmm. similar to how I felt around Ken Porsche because yeah. it made it made fans think that these things were okay. And <laughs> when and I'm not putting it, you know what? I'm not gonna even I'm gonna give Edamame a little grace. I don't put it all on somebody else to make sure that people understand the difference between right and wrong. You should know. You should know. But (laughs) um, she don't know because she or she wanted for entertainment. Or she don't care. Or she don't care. "Ah, She don't care. She just wanted mess. (laughs) She said. She said, "Let's put all of the um toxic of the uh, (laughs) criminal offenses." In every single series that we got. In one. In one. She started she started that part right it, on it. It was like she the was least like... toxic thing, and it's crazy. The least toxic thing in that series was long wanting yeah. to smack golf with a rock. That was the least toxic thing. Honestly, <laughs> when you because when you are when you really think about it, Tarn and Type were both wrong. Hella both. freaking wrong. Type was wrong for everything that came out of his damn mouth. Everything that came out of his mouth. <laughs> Everything that he did. His action. And Tarn was wrong. Tarn literally. Right. <laughs> this boy. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to say it because, you know, we ain't going to. We're not going to say we it. We ain't going to take it down. But, but this boy literally <laughs> drunk and then nor. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard still, but everybody was like on Tarn's side because because Type was reckless with his mouth. Right. So everybody was like, Tarn, Tarn, Tarn. No, they were and, both wrong. And Tarn, Tarn was a manipulator because it, he's a manipulator. Tarn literally manipulated that boy to get married in season two. I wish you don't say it. Because every five seconds, Tarn was like, You don't want to marry me. You yeah. never want to. And I'm like, He's not ready. He's not ready. But to be honest, to be honest, the entire time, I'm just like, You know, maybe something in his body is telling him, mm. You know, okay, boyfriends, per, you can still get away, yeah. but you might be locked in for a little bit. If uh, you get married, so yeah. so I agree. Tarn type it it's not a good series to be honest to recommend to people for people to watch, especially as a first series. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, because there are some heavy topics in there that don't get resolved. That's the thing that don't get resolved and don't hold each character accountable. No, because Tarn never apologized for nothing. It was type always apologizing. Right, and I think. <laughs> I know people are going to have the opinion of, oh, but sometimes in series things don't get resolved and people get done like horribly. Okay, cool, cool. Understand that. But when it is your whole brand, there's something mm-hmm. wrong. There's, there's some, It's different when somebody does somebody wrong and then like, you know, that's it. But yeah. to romanticize it is a step further that we don't need to go, especially in the legal no. community. We're trying to project <sighs> You know, store store people already think a certain type, like think a certain way about our people. And if you are a part of the community, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we don't need like, that to be, mm-hmm. you know, we don't need that to be confirmed for those people. We no. don't need anything to confirm that. I understand that it happens in series sometimes, but let's not romanticize it and make it seem like it's okay. And then no. the fans being like, oh, but golf felt like this in his head it's, in the book i don't care see that and that's another thing like we ate it up because it's drama you know tv we love entertainment value but y'all should know like for real for real mm-hmm. <laughs> that's not how you should be acting should be. Like, it'd be different like, if everybody was condemning tarn and condemning golf for like the things they did to each other but no y'all are like child, so because nice. the way me and dion bring this up every time but the way me and dion were like y'all ship this in our reaction, we're like, "What the? Like, right, y'all need to be here, <laughs> Like, what Goodbye. the? What the hell? <laughs> but bye. Yeah. Anyways, moving it on. It is what it is. Okay, this one, free, free. What they say? History three trapped. Ooh. Free. I want to know why. I want to know why. Okay, okay. I'm, let me let me get. Did they explain? No. Okay, I'm gonna explain for you. <laughs> The only reason that you could not like History 3 Trapped was maybe you don't like gang violence. 
Understandable. Yeah. Maybe you don't like uh, illegitimate businesses. Understandable. Maybe you don't like, you know, boyfriends shooting their boyfriends and multiple times. And not time. getting jail time or and reasonable jail time. Like, understandable. <laughs> Tiny is still in jail, so he's really he paying for what he did. I understand. I understand. But, like, okay, this is what I'm talking about, about the difference between romanticizing something and not romanticizing something, right? The yeah. acting was great. Like, I understand, like, Yang Fei was, what's his name, Yang Fei? Yang Fei? Yao Fei. Uh, Yao Yao Fei. Yao Yao Fei. Yao Fei. Yao Fei. It's something around there. It's something Yang around Fei. there. I think so. Anyway, Yang Fei. I think it's Yang Fei. I, I <laughs> understand he was annoying. He was definitely like a interesting character. My boy never listened. Never, never, never. <laughs> uh, but I don't know how you could say History Trap was uh, a, a a bad series. I know it's your opinion. I know it's your opinion. I know it's your opinion. But it's we my opinion that your opinion it. is wrong. And. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't see the vision, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that you probably didn't like it because like, you know, maybe, maybe it's cause time you Other went things. to jail. Cause you know, you no, he should have gone to jail. No, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they don't like oh. it because he went to jail. I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe he ain't out yet. So that's Let's why you're, you know, action, action, violence, series eight for everybody. I understand you, friend. And plus, I understand you, friend. And plus this was presented as, a police gang war type of situation. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I mean, it. It's the setting for it. It's the set. Somebody gonna get shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> somebody gonna get shot. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, look, it's going down. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Uh, and I can even, you know, give you the benefit of the doubt of like, um, what's his name? Um, Kenny and, uh. And Brian, not them. Or, or well, Andy. I mean, Kenny, if it's... um, Andy, not Brian. Okay, <laughs> but like, if we're talking about personal matters, keep that out of it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have psychical syndrome with that show. Because <laughs> like, I will say Andy's character was very like pushy onto Kenny's character. I don't remember their names. Yeah. But no, he was pushy. He was pushy. My boy, tried, my that. boy moved in. My boy said <laughs> he moved in. <laughs> Didn't even sign a lease. Just moved in. <laughs> shit like that is hilarious to me in shows. It's not I, funny in real life, but in shows, it's so freaking funny. Because like, like, bro, you, you just, really, you really rolled up. <laughs> you really rolled up. <laughs> oh shoot, we need to take a break. My camera's about to cut off. Oh, mine too. Oh, we've been talking. <laughs> we'll be back. We just finished talking about history trapped and how we didn't understand. So yeah. next one. Ooh, wait, this one's this one gonna catch Alyssa by her coat. Uh... <laughs> this one says dangerous romance. Okay. Honestly, I will give it to I'll give it to you because a lot of people thought it was gonna be more dangerous. Than what it really was, even though I still feel like in the trailer it wasn't giving more than like petty high school drama. <laughs> like, yeah. They weren't slinging guns back and forth in the trailers, so it, it didn't yeah. like. In my opinion, I feel like it gave what it gave, but I think it's because I'm a person, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I will say <laughs> that um, I did not finish Dangerous Romance, and I think. Uh, I kind of lost touch with it after mm -hmm. a couple episodes. I really tried. Y'all, I tried to catch up. I literally watched episode <laughs> one and two on two times speed to catch up with everybody. <laughs> and then I watched the ne next episode's regular and I was like, ah, I just, okay. I, can't, I can't get into it. And I, I stopped watching. I know, I know. So I don't really have a huge opinion about this. I yeah. didn't personally resonate with it. Yeah. Um, but not because it was called Dangerous Romance, more so just because I've, at the time, I was just like, oh my God, everything mm -hmm. is in high school. 
Yeah. I'm tired. It was, I'm tired. and I get that too. Like, it was very <laughs> high school drama. Like, mm-hmm. Purse character mm-hmm. situation with his dad was very petty. Like, yeah. that ended up being petty. Freaking Chimmons' character was being petty. It was a lot of pettiness. But yeah. I was. I don't even think I could go watch it back because. No. Um, what? Because what? The bully. The bully. The bully. The oh, bully. yeah. Yeah. Like he was doing that in real life. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I mean that that should have fine. That's another conversation. That's you another. Know, that's but, another conversation. That's why I'm not bringing but, up the other show. <laughs> but because. But um, yeah, I I just didn't really resonate with the series. So yeah, but I I liked I it obviously because Perch him and like I love them so. Yeah. I was just there for that. So <laughs> my opinion really don't yeah. hold no weight either. So, <laughs> Ooh, but I, 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 oh, I, hit, I hit his tickle button, guys. <laughs> but yeah, ew, ew. you sound like a car trying to start. Please, <laughs> let me stop. Ew. <laughs> but yeah, next one. Um, the next one. Honestly, I can understand oh, why. I can understand why. But Ken Porsche. They said that oh, they, okay. they literally yeah. said Ken Porsche, they wanted, what did they say? They wanted to drown their eyes in bleach after. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Was it that bad? <laughs> but it's like, okay, listen, it ain't no secret. Vegas and Pete's situation with me was like, <laughs> that shit was, that was crazy. That was a lot to take. So in. that was that crazy. Was and then even, because we ain't excusing Ken and Porsche. Ken was. It, <laughs> That situation was messy too. So it, it was it was a lot going Excuse on. Me. So I can understand if somebody doesn't like it because it was a lot going on. Me personally, yeah. I love the action, the cinematography, the care like I was here for it. <laughs> right. Whenever stuff people aren't really that I mean, well, I can't say that because there are times when people aren't going to be held accountable for their things. Yeah, I just nah. don't like when it's romanticized. I, that's, yeah. where, that's where I, for me personally, where I draw the line at a storyline. Yeah. Like specifically Vegas and Pete is when it's romanticized. Like when your oppressor becomes like your. Because Vegas never been- really, apo- like, Ken, when they were in that cave, he, like, you know, he took him, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, because he, he apologized did, yeah, he somewhat. Did, he did a very minimum that yeah, he could like, do, like, but he, but at least it was there, some yeah, accountability was there. Vegas, it was just like, <laughs> it's like, hey, I fried your eggs, but I Here's some you. ramen. <laughs> He's like, here's some noodles. <laughs> And here's some noodles. <laughs> here's some noodles. <laughs> the only get back that Vegas got was that his hedgehog died. That was the only get back he got. Uh, and and so- he got shot. Like, Sonic a times, did but. not deserve that. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog deserved better. <laughs> R.I.P. my boy. He went out bad. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> the legs don't move as fast as they used to. They was trying. No, I <laughs> remember that scene when Pete walked out I was like Pete keep going he is okay he is fine he's fine Sonic is free go that's all you need to think about Sonic is free <laughs> go but yeah like that's where I draw the line is when things are romanticized yeah. I just don't like like I don't have a problem with bad things happening to people in series I just don't like when y'all be trying to make them lovers afterward like do we need that Child, I, it's, like, it's TV entertainment value. They gonna put it in there. <laughs> they go because drama sales. <laughs> They're gonna put it in uh, there. <laughs> but I will say though, I was looking at some of these comments and I'm like, I'm like, y'all are teetering up like a line that we need to discuss because I saw somebody well, comment and list you know a couple of series and they were like, if you wanna like have porn just have porn there's no and i'm like i'm like okay (laughs) okay um i get it if you don't want to see sexual imagery in a series yeah but be careful what you say and Uh, just just be just be careful teeter in that line because that line is very thin yeah it's very thin and like because then you're invalidating, you know, 
workers in that field and stuff like that. Just, 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 just be careful. It's, it's okay. Careful. It's okay <laughs> if you don't like, like sexual imagery. It's okay. Yeah. You could just say that. But like, let's, let's watch your mouth. <laughs> he said watch not too mouth. much. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. And also, I think some of y'all just don't like bad things in series. Y'all don't like bad things that y'all want, like the gushy gushy series. And that's fine. That's fine. I think that a lot of times people be like, this series was bad because it just had bad things in it. Yeah. Instead of being like, I didn't like it because it has bad things in it, but it was a good series. Because like you can appreciate the, how the characters yeah. act or like whatever. Yeah, you can it can be a series that has bad things in it and you still be like, Oh, this was a good series. Like it was like the acting there, and the plot. There's hey, a Kat. tons of like <laughs> like shows over here that we be watching that are horrible. There's a lot of shit yeah. that be going down in that show and we be eating mm-hmm. it up eating it up because because we know it's fiction like it's fake drama like it's Mm -hmm. literally they put it in there for shock value like right they put it in there to get you talking like not to internalize it (laughs) right of course there is a line there is a line no there is but but but, uh i think a lot of things you need to just be like, uh okay this is just there because it goes with what's happening. Yeah. Like like in in history three traps somebody got shot and died like I mean, there it's a gang <laughs> and the police somebody bound to get somebody in the crossfire <laughs> it's you know it's bad it's it's bad but like you know it it's just goes with the territory but anyways but yeah so um that's that on that why are you licking that let's see let's see um, <laughs> what. <laughs> what did they say? I'm Cat, okay. why are you licking the computer? <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> okay. This what? person said to my star two. And I'm gonna say <laughs> this. I'm going to say this to my star. If you're just talking about Jiwoo and his How he passive up aggressiveness with <laughs> and I get it. I get it. I'm not going to fault you for that. I'm not going to fault you for that. But to my star is a masterpiece. So, but, to, One, but to call it the, to recommend it or to never recommend it just because they broke up. <laughs> I will say that Jimmy was very much indecisive and kind of manipulative and um, definitely hurt my boy, um, the boy's feelings and he like, gave put him my through boy trauma. trauma. <laughs> he gave him trauma. I understand that. I under, like emotional warfare was going on in those series. But that I show was a masterpiece. But that show. <laughs> Like was a masterpiece. Like if it was I, a masterpiece. If I'm the only person that actually enjoys in a second season when like they make them break up and then bring them back together, I want to see. I want to see how because you problem I think solve. It, <laughs> I think of it as like not. I don't want to say a real like relationship because no. obviously sometimes relationships some, some people relationships never don't have up. a lot of problems <laughs> yeah some people don't have a lot of problems in their relationship yeah. and that's good on y'all yeah but um i think that it highlights a different type of relationship where mm-hmm. there is toxicity on both sides because mm-hmm. jiwu was the type of person that was scared to commit to anything because i guess of his past which i do wish we knew a little bit more about his past yeah we i just, wish they opened that up a little bit more but. all we know is that people thought his parents <laughs> scammed them and they were just the talk yeah. of the town <laughs> yeah but uh i think it showcased the backs and forths of like a toxic relationship without it being uh illegally toxic like yeah. people ain't doing that to people and this to be, you know you get what i'm saying yeah so i i enjoyed it for that and i like that after the everything was said and done they worked through it mm-hmm. and they came to an understanding about their feelings i feel like that's how ha- if you're gonna have turmoil in a relationship that's how it's 
needs to be done. If you're going to do like a bad relationship, Tomorrow Star showed everybody how to do a bad relationship. Like, I just, without the toxicity it's just, of illegal acts. <laughs> it's just like, I, I like, I, y'all, I'm toxic. I like drama. It doesn't matter what the drama is. I live for drama. And so, like, when, like, a couple or something that was like, oh, they were so cute. And then all season one and the next season is like drama. It's like, ooh, how they gonna come back exactly. together? Are they gonna get back yeah. together? What's tea? Like, I keep thinking, I keep thinking, oh my God, they're so real for this. No like, facts. I'd be like, period. Like in Dark Blue Kids, when Pete and Cal broke up, I was like, ooh, didn't see that coming. I was like, oh my God. It's almost bound to come to a head. I live. Uh, you know? I feel like, period. When they come back together, it makes it even more like, because <gasps> now your your main ship is back like everything's resolved because literally him tugging him by his shirt and being like you said when it was hard for me you come to me this i was like <laughs> and he was literally like pouting his lips when he came down the steps and hugged me he was like i'm here y'all y'all can't tell me that, that did not make your heart melt <laughs> like, yeah I was so sad. I was like, this boy is traumatized, and that's why he pushes everybody away. Yes, he's trying. He's trying. He don't mean to be toxic. It just happens. It's like you have to understand you just a little bit. If you don't Mm -hmm. understand him a lot, just understand him a little bit because it's like imagine being a kid Mm -hmm. that your parents scammed Mm -hmm. and thinking that your parents didn't scam people, like like thinking that they were innocent. And the town protecting your their image to you, like saying, "Oh no, they were." But then mm-hmm. the townspeople are like, "But <laughs> even like without that drama, it's very on brand for him to push." Because even in the first season, when mm-hmm. um oh I forgot the second character's name, but when he was starting to get too close, he was like, <laughs> "But yeah. he's like, hold on, so shit's, June- shit's getting real. Like <laughs> back, back up." <laughs> yeah, so June was uh. <laughs> it was like so because like, Sajun, Sajun loved love hard. Yeah, he, he loved he hard. Care. So he like it, it was very on brand for G. As soon as he had an issue to draw into himself, like yeah. we saw him do that in season one. So yeah, but yeah. So I don't agree, but I respect your opinion. We respect you. Period. <laughs> All right. What's your next one? Oh, this is my last one. And honestly, you hit the nail on the head. Falan okay. Rook. Falon Rook, worst series ever. <laughs> if y'all want to call a series trash, this is it. They literally tried to sell us on the NC. That's how they tried to get us because the plot was not there. It was literally bust down, break up, remind him you his friends with benefits, and start over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's literally what it was all the way to the very end. <laughs> Fallon? No, there's a lot of things with Fallon that pissed me off. But I think the thing that pissed me off the most Mm -hmm. as a reactor is y'all let us react to y'all series and the series was bad. Like, this is constructive criticism. (laughs) I'm not talking about like the you can improve and stuff like that. The series was bad. Horrible. And then y'all sold it to picture esque, and then they came and copyright striked most of us. And then when we tried to repeal it, we didn't get our copyright yeah. strikes taken away. Y'all made us wait the 90 days. How are you gonna put out a, a horrible series? Bruh. Sell it. Get us copyright strikes. And I, be was, okay. y'all I, feel like I was I need so compensation mad. for my trauma. I was so mad like, that I finished that series all the way out because y'all know I'm the drop queen. Like if I don't like something, I will drop it. And I was trying to with this series, I was like, no, I'ma watch it all the way to the end. Like I'm not gonna drop it like I usually do. I should have listened but to the my goddess is the mess didn't start happening until halfway through. So we were already halfway through. And we were like, but even still, here we go it was again. like, here we go again. Here we go again. <sighs> it was just like, bro. Oh my God. And yeah. every time, every time he'd be like, you're my friends with benefits. We're just sex buddies. I, I was like, if I hear that one more freaking time, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> it's like, if we're, if we're just friends with benefits, and we ain't established that we're supposed to be exclusive, leave friends with benefits, then stop 
acting all like mad when I do like hook up with somebody. Stop else. getting in your feelings because he kept getting upset, and I'm like, how are you mad? I'm but like, you can, you can't be you can't be mad that I hook up with somebody else and then you just call me friends with benefits. Mm, that's not how that works. Child, that's We didn't serious. say we're going to exclusively do things with each other. And this is the last time I'm talking about this series, but I had to bring it up here because somebody <laughs> tweeted it and I have to give you your flowers because you ate that tweet, period. <laughs> you that. ate that tweet up. <laughs> but but, that, right. that is the worst series ever. So, <laughs> honorary mention, just because I feel like everybody thinks of this series what? when they think of a series they would not recommend to anyone. Mm-hmm. And we're going to wrap it up with this one. Mm. Which one? <laughs> and that series is Waterboy. Look, <sighs> Waterboy could have been something Waterboy has so, so much potential. <laughs> it, there were a lot of things wrong with that. There were a lot of things wrong. Y'all could have really made Earth and Nui like something good. Because to be honest, like obviously I discovered Ty BL with um for uh, Club Friday, right? Yeah. But as far as like looking at like the ship culture, like outside of the series, the first w- people I saw were Earth and Nui, and that's when Jenny had her like show with um with uh Piglet. The oh, girls, the yeah, girls' the, day, yeah, the girls' yeah. out. It's like or whatever, whatever it's called. Yeah, <laughs> when they were just riding like the tuk tuks everywhere, yeah. and they were just going to eat and talk. Yeah, that was my show, Jenny. If you ever want to revamp a show, <laughs> that would be the one because I lived for every single episode of that. But anyways, <laughs> um, that was the first ship I saw outside, and I was like, okay, wait a minute, what is this? What is this? But Waterboy one one there needed to be a better kissing workshop. Let's just get that out of the way. Yeah. There needed to be a better workshop. Two, well, I'll give them grace on that because BL was not a thing like that. So the workshops probably weren't popping at all. Because even their regular, the liqueur kisses weren't either. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> but you know what? I only give a little bit of grace because I'm like, if you didn't had a girlfriend or a boyfriend outside of this, you know how to true. kiss you somebody. You know how to kiss somebody. And you should. Yeah. yeah. Somebody. Just just saying. Yeah. But also, I will never forgive y'all for making Piglet's character go with a man. I mean, she had this whole situation. With oh, her and Sizey's Nam-Kan. character. Her and Sizey's character was so freaking cute together. Oh my god. I was like, y'all made her go back to the evil. Y'all made her go back to the evil side. After she had this amazing chemistry with Nam K, I will never forgive y'all for that. Ever. We could have had a G. We could have had a GL couple back then. We could have had a GL couple back then, but y'all misogynistic. And that's that on that. So. Crying. Not you disconnected. Huh? <laughs> I said you were quiet I'm for crying. a good minute. <laughs> a couple back then. Show, they could have been, they you been know the pioneers. What? They were technically the first. Like, I don't know if there were any, like, series from GMN TV before that that had a GL couple. I don't think or had, so. like, a girl-girl couple. Correct but, me if I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah. If, if there was a couple before that, let us know, because we want to check them but, out. Because they showed that like, away, because they yeah. were so... Literally, y'all could have took in Mon in... Titans. We need them. <laughs> that, yeah. that one we y'all, y'all could have took Mond and um and Titan. Y'all could've. Yeah, y'all that <laughs> that, that, that was crazy. That was Look, a crazy. That's why everybody was so hyped when Mon was in Only Friends because we was like No. Nah. Well, he redeemed himself in Only Friends. No, did. Like, I was like, 
I was like, what are you doing? What Did, are you doing in Waterboy? Because what was that? we all just, as soon as we saw him pop up, we were like, I know everybody's mind went to Waterboy because that's where my mind went. Everybody. <laughs> that's where my mind so went. But, no, you're absolutely right, and he said, he said, it's okay because I'm going to kiss every boy in this series. Period. But no, Period. we could have we got Piglet and Sizey. Y'all help yeah. that one. That would have been cute. But, yeah. crying. I may be holding that against y'all still today. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. Because, I mean, oh, but Pickle doesn't act anymore. I was going to say, we could get her another series, Redemption, but she don't act anymore, I don't think. I don't um, think. I haven't seen her in yeah. anything recent. So. Nah. She's, she's an idol. She sure is. Influencer queen, <laughs> God be. <laughs> she do her work. And she like, do. Not recently, but like a couple years ago, she bought her, uh, her first house. Yeah, her house like, is pretty. Hey. She yeah. did that. Mm, but, she did yeah but let us know in the comments what series you wouldn't recommend to somebody like what series just ain't it for you should we do a part two because there's like still there's part, so many there's there's a lot like we did like when i tell you we didn't expect to get this much engagement no, on this tweet, like y'all like y'all were literally going and commenting off. like i don't know what <laughs> so we might do a part two yeah I feel like we and, should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look out for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to all of our uh, social media. Make yeah. sure you subscribe to our individual social media and our YouTube. Follow um, Jordy's BL Code, the new YouTube. Yeah, the BL Code. It's a channel where I review series and talk about things in the LGBTQIA plus community. Hey, hey. <laughs> You know, follow deep conversations. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, do that and make sure you also support Drama Llama. Yes, obviously, uh, we are working towards getting everything set up. Mm -hmm. You know, can't go into any more detail than that. Okay, y'all, I don't know the Indians secrets crazy. either. I want to know the secrets. You look like those little kids that be you like. You got names on your phone. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They don't have no rhyme or reason to be like have their evil face, but they just like. <laughs> Anyways, that should be the we'll see y'all later. <laughs> Anyways, we're done. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Exit the chat. Bye. <laughs>